Wow, Ricky, thanks. Well, you know how they say time flies when you're having fun. Never has that been more true than in the case of Citizens Bank Park because, man, 20 years have flown by and the Phillies and their fans have had plenty of fun. One man who has called a lot of that fun in our, is our very own Tom McCarthy. So we asked T-Mac to take us to some of his favorite spots inside the home of the Phillies. All right, guys, thank you very much. You know, obviously, I've been around this place since it opened in 2004. And for me, there's no better place to start this little tour than the place I call home, which is the press box and the Harry Callis broadcast booth. Come on in. Yeah, so this is the best broadcast booth in Major League Baseball for a couple of reasons. Obviously, the space, that's the biggest thing. But look at this vantage point. I mean, it is an incredible vantage point that we have every single day during a Phillies game. We get to see Center City in all of its glory, and you cannot miss one piece of real estate on the playing field. This is one of the new things that we have here. This is our trophy case. When you're a fan, you come to the ballpark, you can come to the Hall of Fame Club, you can see the 80 World Series trophy. Now, the 08 World Series trophy is normally here. I promise you it has not been stolen it's just on tour somewhere. The Hall of Fame Club is filled with great nostalgia. Uh, this is down the right field side. It's behind first base and then down the right field side. This sort of gives you a recap on one side of the wall of the Phillies postseason in 2022, which was an amazing year, obviously. The Phillies get to the World Series and wind up losing in the World Series. But also on the right, we commemorate the retired numbers that the Phillies have, which includes Jackie Robinson. Uh, but we also let everybody know about Jim Tomey and Pat Gillick, their induction into the Hall of Fame, which was an incredible day for both of those guys. And then as we move forward even more, uh, it's sort of a history lesson of what the Phillies organization's about. There's a number of new things that are at the ballpark that fans will see in 2024, and this is one of them, and I think this is great. This is the Pioneers in Pinstripes. It gives you a little bit of a timeline uh, and some of the players who have made such an impact, not only for uh, the city of Philadelphia, but for the cultures in their uh, countries as well. And then some of the, the people that have obviously made their mark as, as the timeline of the Phillies moves on, like the Sarge, Gary Matthews, right? And then, of course, Ryan Howard and Jimmy Rollins, too. All right, so we are 114 feet from home plate. We're right behind the dish. It's kind of cool. I always love this part of the day when I go out for the first time, particularly during the postseason, because it's just it's like a blanket. It kind of overwhelms you when you go out to the ballpark this way. You're kind of like anybody else. You're a celebrity. You're a player. You can be singing the national anthem. You could just be a guy like myself who works here at the ballpark. But when you step out, particularly during the postseason, and feel this ballpark from this vantage point, and you step out onto what is the greatest playing surface in Major League Baseball, in front of the greatest fans in Major League Baseball, we are unbelievably fortunate and blessed, not only as employees, as players, but also as fans, to call this place home and to call it home for the last 20 years. Speaking of that, we're going to be celebrating the 20 year anniversary of this great ballpark all year long. So make sure you look out at NBC Sports Philadelphia, NBC 10, and also all the social media platforms as well. You're going to love it, and we're going to revisit some of the great moments. <laughs> 